after joining the Mysterium, some of the most powerful parts, the pieces that really helped me, well, the first is just sitting in empty presence, just being still. Because, you know, when you're going through all those emotions, your mind is just chattering away all the time. And so that was a wonderful skill for me to learn to just sit in empty presence and also to it's it's about presence but it's about emptying that's that was the key for me just to feel like i could let go of, of these things these doubts these ideas that i had on you know what needed to happen um the things that were out of control at that time so still still gets me right here <laughs> yeah but it, it was that that ability to be empty and to be present and also to be witnessed I think has been one of the most powerful um, parts of being in this program is to be able to be to show up as I am to have a Facebook group where I can show up and and share my vulnerability, share, share where I'm at, and to be witness, not to be judged. So it helps me just accept, it, it's been helping me accept more and more of who I am and letting my essence come out. So for a long time, I had this story playing in the back of my head unconsciously and somewhat consciously, but I didn't realize how powerful it was, was that I needed to be a good girl. And not just a good girl, but I had to be a good and perfect girl. It was almost two sides of myself. So one had to be the good, kind, loving person, always. And the other had to be the perfect one that didn't make any mistakes. I had this idea that life had to be a certain way. It could be from the most mundane things, like the house had to be cleaned a certain way, the kitchen had to be cleaned a certain way. Um, in social situations, you had to act in a certain way to be accepted and loved by other people. Um, so this perfectionism for me was, it was really an embodied feeling that the Mysterium in this work has really helped me um, come to notice. Like I, I notice it now because I can feel it in my body and how it, I feel that healing that wound of perfectionism has helped me let go of self-doubt. It's helped me let, let go of stagnation because that was another thing that I did as a mother and entrepreneur. I would say, well, when everything is settled in my life and my family and everything's organized, then I will have time for my sacred work and my purpose. And of course, that never happened or maybe it happened for a day or two and then everything would be topsy-turvy -turvy, and I would put that aside and I'd be sitting in frustration and resentment and it was all this perfectionism and the story that if it, things have to be a certain way so that I can have peace and everything will be in balance because I had this fear that if things got out of balance or out of control again there's that control then I wouldn't be able to handle it and so you know in some ways I feel that healing this wound of perfectionism has helped me also heal this wound of mistrust, mistrusting that I can be held and supported. I would say to anyone out there, any sister out there who just has this desire, this curiosity um, about joining the Mysterium, I think that it's so worth it because first of all, you're so held and supported and you know so loved and so witnessed and also because this the way it's crafted is it crafted is that um Halila is creating the sacred space for your unfolding for your essence to to blossom and to bloom and you know my desire my personal desire my personal mission is for women to to be fully seen and to really show up so they can give their service and their gifts to the world. And I think that I'm so passionate about that because that was part of my wound that I was stuck in, you know, all these ideas of how life should be and how I needed to be and how, 
um, if I showed up this way, people might not like me. And by being in this program, it's really helped me to, to let that all be put aside and to really come right here into center, feeling so supported by this sisterhood and, you know, to really claim who I am without shame, without fear. Um, and when the fear comes up, I feel like I'm supported again and again and again. And so that in of itself is wonderful. And then of course, there are all the different priestessing tools that you'll learn um, that you can practice on a daily basis. I practice my tools all the time and it keeps me in alignment. And I think that is probably one of the biggest gifts is to have these tools not only that I can use with myself, but that I get to share with my friends, with my clients, um, with the people I love. And so that one by one, each of us are standing up and showing up more fully and really able to offer our sacred work and our sacred purpose to the world.